success on a field of corn with Arthur Pinhoff. And I let that sit for a couple of hours. I'm ready. had a chance to soak for about an hour. You can see how nice and swollen everything is. Okay, so let's be honest here. Cold soak's never gonna be as good as the same food warm, but it works. Okay, so I'm getting some questions on uh, how to do cold soaking. You know, I've already done a video now that I'll post maybe tomorrow or day after that on how I do cold soaking. But the next question is, what works with cold soaking? And I would say anything that you would normally rehydrate would work with cold soaking. But that's not to say that everything you rehydrate and cold soak is going to be good. Um, I find that vegetarian options are usually the best tasting cold soaked uh, just because I think maybe I'm more used to eating cold vegetables and eating uh, curry and spinach and uh, lenses with um, lentils with cuckoos and this kind of thing. I'm more used to that being cold than I am with uh, certain fishes and so on. Um, so I would definitely say that vegetarian options uh, work much better, but I actually just use, I mean, either I'll dehydrate, do my own food at home uh, in my oven, or not oven, it's called rehydrator, dehydrator, uh, or I just buy these and cold soak. And this is just one of the thousands of different brands. I don't recommend this over anything else. It's just the ones that I could find the cheapest at the moment. So. Uh, the easiest, we'll say, like, I'll be eating in about hour and a half to two hours. So I'll just get my Vargo here. This is the, I mean, you can cold soak with anything, but what's great about the Vargo is that you can seal it up, uh, and put it back in your backpack, and it's not going to spill all over the place. So I'll go ahead and... Put the water in here just as you normally would to the fill line. This water is freezing cold. Where's the fill line? The fill line is there. Stir it a little with my spoon. And since you're cold soaking, you need to put a little bit more water in it as you'll find that it rehydrates a lot more than when you use your uh, stove and so on, you know, when you get a couple of minutes. Because this is going to be soaking for two hours, I need to use more water so that it really soaks up and rehydrates everything. So once I get everything in there, then I just pour it into my Vargo, pretty much empties that. There. Completely tight. And I'll open that up in about two hours and have myself a nice little cold vegetarian lunch. Okay, it's been about two hours, more or less. Not quite, but almost. So I'll go ahead and take 
take out my freeze dried cold food stuff, cold soaking. So, I think before you get start getting really excited about the possibilities of cold soak and how you'll never have to bring gas with you or anything like that. So, let's just be honest. If we take a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being like your favorite restaurant food, or after being out hiking for a week and you get your first uh, anything that's warm prepared at a restaurant, that's a 10. And cow dung or ants or lizards or drinking cow piss or whatever that's a one such so a scale one to ten right with regular freeze-dried food that's been warmed up I would say that's about a five I think that's fair enough with a good breakfast not the mushy warm crap that's about a three but the, the more cold cereal with the uh, the crunchy bits in it, that's about a six for me. So the regular freeze-dried warmed up is about a five. Cold soaked freeze-dried, the good kind, like the vegetarian stuff that actually tastes pretty decent, that's about a four. When you warm up, or when you have the other stuff, like the meats and so on, the, that, that's supposed to be a warmed up dish uh, or fish or these kind of pasta deals with fish uh, that's probably a three the first couple of spoonfuls after about ten spoonfuls it drops down to about a two when you're puke uh, in what is it called your vomit reflexes start to kick in that's about after ten to fifteen spoonfuls of the cold fishy soup stuff. This is still, this is about a four, the vegetarian stuff. Uh, it's actually pretty decent. So just keep that in mind when you're cold soaking, that don't expect to get the same awesomeness that you would get from a freeze-dried, and freeze-dried in general doesn't tend to be fantastic. Even the best is still at about a five. And after a week of freeze-dried, it drops down to about a three. So imagine on a cold soak after about a week, 